this video we're going to have a look at how to make natural floating candles. It's going to be 100% natural materials used, a great idea for parties, um, New Year's Eve is coming now so it's a great idea for actually uh, making a wish, putting them into the river, that's what we're going to do, we're going to make 50 of them and it's also of course lovely if you uh, have a path along your uh, garden path where you want to have a party, people can actually find their way. So great gift idea, let's take a look. Now, step number one, we're going to cut uh, these nectarines totally in half. The tangerines are a wonderful idea. You don't want them to be too big. You can, of course, use oranges, but they just burn forever. So it's just a good idea to use something small like this. So first of all, I'm going to cut 25 in half. I'm going to try and get them uh, to be cut right in the middle so that they float properly as well. I'll do that first. Now, that's pretty much it. I have now 25 cut, that's 50 candles, and the next step is very, very simple. You have to very, very gently, and very carefully uh, take out the actual uh, nectarine itself. So you, some of them come up really easy and some of them are really sticky. So you just go all the way around. First of all, put all the seeds in here, because you don't want them in your juice. By the way, all this... Um, nectarine waste is not going to be wasted at all. We're going to make lovely juice from it for our guests as well. And here comes now the important bit. Where it attract, attaches to the tree, inside the nectarine you usually have a bit, bit of a white bit sticking out. And you must make sure that you get at that as soon as possible and try to snip it off with your fingers. Because if you leave a hole in there What's going to happen is, later on when we fill in the, the oil, the hard oil, especially when we're going to warm up the oil, there's going to be a hole and all the liquid is going to go out of the bottom. So that's the only bit where you have to watch out. Now, I've done the 50 of them. It took about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Uh, so there's a bit of work involved. Now the next step is going to be to get them just on the cotton wool, uh, natural cotton wool and then you just make, you have to make some wicks. So I'll just show you a close-up of what that looks like as well. You just roll it into a bit of a sausage. It helps if your hands are a little bit wet for this one. And then, so you have your wick there, and the next step is you need to make sure that it will actually stand upright as well. So you can actually stand it up inside the, the nectarine half. So that's the first part, make sure it stands first and then what you do is take either a ghee or a bit of coconut butter, that's what that looks like, and try to stick it down. So just put a bit in there, now this is going to be a little bit messy, this is normal. What you need to do then is you need to stick it down using the butter so that when you pour in the oil later the wick doesn't fall over. The next step we need to make sure that this is a little bit more creamy or liquefied so we can actually put it into the candles. It helps that this is already in a tin. Um, if it wasn't, we're just going to basically do a water bath and if it wasn't you just put it into a different container, into a glass container and put that then into a pan. Now the ghee is pretty liquefied and I'm just putting it onto the candles. I've already done loads of them and because I'm in a kind of a coldish room I have some of them already going solid, which is great already. Um, and the way to do it is you just put a bit on the wick itself and the rest you would put into the actual uh, candle itself. Now because this is all going to be going onto a river, I want to make sure it goes out within about 30 minutes. So I'm only kind of filling them half full. If you're doing this for a garden path, then you would maybe consider doing uh, oranges instead and really filling them up to the top as well. So I'm only using about a litre of ghee or coconut oil, doesn't matter, for about 50 candles. Now I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, perhaps consider sharing it with other people and most of all just have a go at yourself and uh, have a bit of fun with it as well. A wonderful idea for occasions, um, making wishes or having these floating candles is a lovely idea. Now thanks for watching and I shall see you next week.